Oh yeah. I love the sound of that right there. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new and this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to MDLR Fishing. It's my hope that by the end of today's video you're going to find it interesting what I do, the style of fishing that I do here on the Upper Texas Gulf Coast. Uh, what we're doing today, that is marsh fishing. We're in a back lake a few miles away from just about anything that is around and the water depth is approximately six inches. Uh, I am in search of some redfish. Hopefully we're going to find them and the finesse style fishing that we're doing should easily be able to capture them but we got to find them first. Let's see what we're going to be able to make happen. just had to slip up and make that one simple mistake. Man, I have been chasing these fellas forever. It's really tough getting my lure like presented to them without getting stuck in the grass, y'all. I mean, there is a lot of grass out here, but the reds, they are crazy shallow right now. Look at this fella. Ooh! Well, that's the first rod that I've ever broke. That's my fault too, because I've got the, the drag like completely cinched down. All right, nonetheless, finally chased one of these fellas down. The grass has been making it very difficult for us and just presenting him that lure just right with no grass on it. It's tough, it's a challenge. There we go. We'll see you later, little buddy. My lures, they're getting all kinds of grass all over them. So what I'm going to do is tie on a frog. That should work. Make sure our drag is set. It's too light. Still too light. Still too light. My gosh. There we go. Inside that little hole right there. Oh my gosh, I was, I had it right on target too, but backlash y'all. Okay, I see him. He's on it. Well, he was on it, but didn't want it. Seriously. Why did you not want it, dude? Okay, let's see if we can get him interested again. He did not want the frog. All right, lesson learned. Uh, I don't know what else to throw aside of a paddle tail that's weedless with like a swim hook. We'll use this one right there. That should get it done for us. No doubt about it. We are about to launch some fireworks, y'all. The crap thing is, I don't think I got a bait caster for this guy. Yeah, I do right here. That dude saw it. I knew the paddle tail was gonna work. Oh yeah. He just saw it and boy did he run after it like hard too. 
There we go. Only a matter of time. The grass has made it so difficult to get a, a good cast on these fellas and uh, actually get them to chase down my lure. But uh, yeah, paddle tail, weedless with the swim hook. You can actually swim these lures without getting gummed up in that grass and that's exactly what we kind of did. I just knew this was gonna work right here. All right, buddy, I'm gonna need you to just chill out. Look at that, he pulled some grass on the way back to the kayak. So the reds are skinny right now. There's a lot of gar back here too, so they're mixed in with each other. All right, give me my hook. <laughs> there we go. Got it. That is a gorgeous redfish. Woo, he's got them pumpkin colors and that blue tail. Get us another photo. This dude was cruising that grass line, just eating them. All right, here we go, buddy. There he goes. Oh man, oh man. And, and that's what you can see right there, the wake that he's pushing. That's what I'm seeing. The gra I mean, the water is so shallow right now. Six inches or less is what we're push-pulling in. These guys are back here in the skinny stuff. They're not in the bayou at all. You come back here, listen, keep your eyes open. You listen for the blow up, then you just stare in that direction, see where the water disturbance is, and then you just let them have it. I was about to say it's like we're spooking reds left and right that looks like a trout y'all I don't know if that's a trout or not no it's a red oh yeah little mud chicken dude fooled me let's hurry up and get him in there we go right there buddy hurry up lay down we're gonna release him as fast as we pop I'm gonna need you to chill out dude I need you to chill out chill out we're gonna release you as quick as we possibly can. Flats bug with a paddle tail. It's been crucial to my success. Um, as of recent, these paddle tails, I need something that's got that side to side wobble action that puts off some type of a thump in the water. And it could just be a confidence thing. I mean, I don't know. But what I do know is that that's what's been working for me. So I'm very grateful for this little fella to bite. We gotta get him back into that water as quick as we can. There we go, look at that. Nice looking red. Belly flop, 10 points. Yes, yes, it's a great day. Oh man, so spectacular. We've been spooking reds left and right in the bayou and getting right up on top of them, pushing through just nice and slow. I don't think this is gonna last. We gotta put another paddle tail on. And uh, I just hear them drumming as they speed off. They're just drumming. And we just got lucky right there. Let's get another paddle tail on and we're gonna continue filming from the forward camera, mainly because it is hot, there's no wind, and I cannot trust the Hero 9 to do its job. So we're letting this one cool and then as we hook into something, well, y'all just saw what happened. So I think y'all can expect some of that for the month of July and August for sure. Got him, like immediately, wow. As soon as it hit. This guy's running like crazy. He's coming at me. Yeah, as soon as, oh wow. As soon as this fella hit, he was running. We gotta hurry up, bring him in. Oh yeah. I love the sound of that right there. That is a donkey, y'all. Got him back here in the uh, pool. It's like a uh, an intersection where two bayous meet. I just need to hurry up and get this fella in. All right, get over here. The drag is cinched all the way down. All right, 
no, 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 get over here. There we are. Woo hoo, yes sir. That right there is fine family fun for all. Hurry up, get the boga. I'm gonna get this guy back inside the water really fast. Not bad for an ultralight too. All right, buddy, come on. Open up. Let's get that off. Come on, let it go. There we go, get that. Get him back inside the water, let him breathe. Look at that, he's a big old redfish. Get in there, breathe. That's like running a marathon, especially whenever the water starts to warm up. You gotta get them back in the water. I mean, I'd hate to run a marathon and then somebody stick my head under, uh-oh. <laughs> that dude, woo, pulled the okie doke on me. What a turd. I'm trying to take care of you, buddy. Goodness gracious, man. All right. Whew, yes. Man, flats bug is killing it. With the paddle tail, this guy crushed it. It's still doing good. That right there, y'all, that is what I'm doing. A tiny micro paddle tail finesse style lure and uh, it crushes it for us. Oh, the water is nice and cool. The water ain't even hot at all in the least. All right, well, I'm gonna show y'all since we let him catch his breath, this fella. Nice Brutus right there. Oh my gosh, it has been a long time since we've had a drag puller. Very happy for him, and there goes some reds right over there. We'll see you later, buddy. There goes some right over there. Let's see if we can catch them. All right, here we go. Gonna go right over there and cut them off. See if we can get those guys. That is gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. We've reached the entrance to the marsh, and before we actually get out of here, I just wanted to tell y'all, thank you so much for tagging along on this adventure. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. For those of you that uh, are new and you enjoyed today's video, stick around for a little bit. I have a playlist of like well over 800 maybe, or close to 800 videos and uh, watch some of those. If you enjoy them as well, then I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. For those of y'all interested in the gear that I use today, it's all going to be linked down in the video description below. There's also some discount codes that you can take advantage of from the sponsors of the channel. And uh, yeah, dark colored paddle tails. I like what I'm seeing out here in this marsh. Hopefully it's going to produce some more big donkeys. Hearing the drag scream, was nothing short of amazing and uh, yeah. Well, thank you again. If you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button and until next time, tight lines y'all.